Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be talking about the website photop.com. I think this is the best Photoshop alternative. I've looked at every alternative like GIMP, uh, Pixlr, uh, Paint.net. There's a bunch of them, but I believe that this one's the best. Not only because you don't have to download anything, it's not a program, it's easy to use. It has everything you need, like it has blending options, it has layer styles, it has blend modes, it has adjustment layers, everything basic that you really need. It has the same layout as Photoshop. You can also open up Photoshop files, which you can do on Pixlr, which is the only other like web-based uh, Photoshop alternative. You can open up Photoshop files on GIMP, I know that. And you can open up on paint.net as well, but you need a plugin. But the reason why I can recommend this to anybody is because it's web-based, you can access it from anywhere. Uh, it's compatible for any device. If you have a Chromebook, you can still just access the uh, website very easily. It can open up Photoshop files, which is very helpful for me and a lot of other people. In case you want to download like a template uh, of mine, which comes in a .psd format, you can still open it up. You can also open up graphics packs. I do a lot of my work using those. So it's just very convenient to have something that has all the basic functionality that I need and me having the ability to access that website you know, from anywhere. And yeah, let me just get started with the video. I'll show you guys around the website and let's try to hit 555 likes. Okay, so we're on photop.com and it has this picture that says, uh, welcome to photop and it just gives you uh, what, uh, you know, what it provides and what it does. So you can open up like Photoshop files and GIMP files and stuff like that. And as you can see on the left, the toolbar is the same, the layout's the same on the right here, the layers, the the whole layout's the same. It looks exactly the same. So if you've ever used Photoshop, uh, it's very familiar. The only thing that's different is probably the size of the icons, which isn't a big deal to be honest. Um, and it's kind of missing a couple of things like the healing tool and uh, the pen tool, but there are other, you know, other things that you can use uh, to compensate for that loss. Um, on the right, there's uh, blend modes, which I really like. And even though it doesn't look like it has uh, blending options, uh, because if you right click it, it doesn't show anything. If you double click on the layer, it actually shows up here as a layer style uh, options and stuff like that. That's really cool that they have that as well. It's much more advanced than like Pixlr's. Pixlr's doesn't have uh, particular things. And I really like this because all of the text I use like uh, has a layer style on it. So that's really uh, you know helpful that they have that. Also, the only other difference is that the options for like the, like the properties for brushes and everything is on the right side. Uh, usually the brush uh, properties come out of this side, but that's all right. It's like, it's just a different layout. It's, it's nothing really big. Okay. So to actually open up a project and, you know, open up a new canvas, it's, it's the same. You just press uh, new here and then just press create and then you can like, you know, do your work on here. Let me just show you guys that my Supreme pack, my graphics pack can actually open on here. Uh, because uh, you know it is a PSD file, it takes a couple of seconds to load. Also, forgot to mention if your browser like it says something snaps or like a GPU something snaps and it has this error message, just try using a different browser. Uh, this happens a lot, especially um, when I use Panzoid.com. It also happens as well. Uh, so I had to use like Microsoft Edge. Don't worry, it's it, you know it still works. So if we hide these two layers, it actually comes in groups and nothing's compressed, nothing, it's it's full quality, it's really good. So let's just move this to the top here. And then you can like check my favorite folder, which is the text doc. So most of my uh, thumbnails actually come from here, but you can see that they actually do up here. So let's just move this to the top. And then you can see that it actually works and you can actually use the blending modes. So let's just go to like color dodge. It changes, it looks really cool. Uh, you can add this one at the top. It works and yeah. So if I just make a quick thumbnail here, just make a new layer and then just go to the brush. Like right there, I just finished that in like, like a minute and I don't even know how to use this. And like, it, it's really easy. It's easier than Photoshop to use. So if you're a beginner, you can like use this. Um, if you can't afford Photoshop, you can use this. It's the same thing, uh, just web-based and a little bit less powerful. 
once you're done, you just want to press file and then save as a PSD or save for web. Uh, save for web is if you want to, let's just say, upload it onto Facebook or Twitter or, you know, as a YouTube banner and then just save it. If you save it as a PSD, you can, you know, open it up later as a project file. So all these layers are, the, you know, still there so that you can edit them. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Like, this is really cool, you know? Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, my name's Steven and I'll see you in the next one.